Well, Tree Week Lexington, it kicks off this Friday for its seventh year celebrating the trees and green spaces of Lexington through dozens of events for all interests and activity levels. And joining us with the rundown of what we can expect are Heather Wilson and Mary Arthur from the Tree Week Lexington planning team. So guys, thanks so much for coming by. We appreciate it. Yeah, thanks for having us. So explain what exactly is Tree Week for those of us that are learning out in the viewing audience right now about this yeah, particular Yeah, sure. So, so Tree Week is a time to just celebrate the trees and nature around us. What yeah. we know is that people really thrive when they're in communities with more trees. Um, and what we want to do is call people out of their houses and into their parks and neighborhoods to celebrate trees and urban nature together. Mm -hmm. mm, I'm curious, y'all. I mean, this is something you can't have enough of. Mm -hmm. But for the size of Lexington, how is our tree canopy? How, how are we doing in this department? We're doing pretty well for tree canopy. Um, we are a city that's growing in tree canopy. Um, a lot of that is because we put in new trees with development. Mm. We do often lose trees like we have been in these last storms and we have to make sure we're replenishing them. Right. But we're roughly around 22, 23% tree canopy. Um, an overall goal for us right now is around 30 to start with. Okay, um, so, very good. So we're increasing, um, but yeah. we have a ways to go. Yeah. So this is where It Takes a Village comes into play. Exactly. I love it. Gotcha. And, and we can all take part in this mm -hmm. and, and make this a better place to live. Mm -hmm. that, yes. And let's talk about why trees are so important for not only, you know, for our well-being, but for the environment around the us The list as seems well. endless. It does. And every one of them makes sense. It does. I think it is endless, and I think we keep learning more and more. Um, mm -hmm. For all the normal reasons that we've all learned since elementary school, they mm -hmm. absorb stormwater, they cool our cities, they provide shade for our houses, they provide areas for people to connect under, mm -hmm. um, they give cities a sense of identity, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like you mentioned, we, there's a uh, laundry list of human benefits that trees provide mm. us with, from um, mental health to lowered rates of heart disease to shorter stays in hospitals to mm -hmm. increased um, learning abilities for students. Not That's many why. things can do all of that. Exactly. Psychologically, physically, I mean, yeah. really, this yep. is this is life sustaining. Exactly. <laughs> Totally. Yeah. And they even there are even studies that have shown that they make people more cooperative and more generous mm -hmm. when they're spending time in trees versus spending time in, in urban landscapes without trees. My That's goodness. Pretty wild. So how can, part, how can folks out there that are watching participate in Tree Week? What can they do? Well, let's start off with the uh, signature tree planting on Friday. Yeah, so the, a great way to find out about everything is coming to our tree planting at Mary Todd Park okay. on Friday. It starts mm -hmm. around 5.30. We will be planting seven trees to celebrate our seven years of tree week. We'll have a band. The, um, the band Lilac will be joining us, and we'll have a food truck. Nice. Mm -hmm. And we'll have a lot of people throughout the community that are working within this world sharing information. Okay. So we're just kicking off from there, and then we've got activity after activity. We, we have activities every single day. Yeah. Um, and I just want to emphasize that sort of we're helping to lift up the, the, the framework for Tree Week, but the events are being offered by people, by organizations. So oh. if somebody goes to an event and they think that was pretty nice, I'd like to, I'd like to host one next year, mm -hmm. they could. So these are really awesome. being offered by individual people, sometimes by churches, sometimes by um, organizations. The parks have a bunch. Mm -hmm. um, there's some at the Arboretum. So there's lots of ways that people can, can engage in that and just come on out. I love it. Yeah. Yeah. So an organic event. Mm -hmm. it's, 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 it's very, very, very <laughs> yes. Perfect. It's very, very grassroots. Nice. I love yes. that. And I love the, it. Or tree roots, we yes. should say. Yes. And it's really a family event, too. So where do folks need to go to find out more information, maybe find out about this time schedule for the events and all of that? You can go to treeweeklexington.com. Okay. There's a whole list of events. It's scheduled out by days. We have some pre-Tree Week events and we have some post-Tree Week events, um, but they're all in there by the day that they're offered in the time. And they're all days and all time frames. Okay. Mm, I love good. your artwork there. Yeah. That's nice. Guys, thanks so much for sharing this with us. Yeah. And uh, we want to invite everyone to come out and participate. We can all lend a hand with yes, this. Yes, we can. And uh, continue to make this an awesome place to live. Yep. We Thank you We appreciate you both. Thank thanks you for, for coming in. in. Stick <laughs> around. Back with more.